Horizon Zero Dawn Impressions. There's not much to say. I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to get too much into the game. But what I will talk about is the things we already know. I've spent a couple days with the game now. And I'm going to tell you what's going on here. First of all, the game does have a culmination of other games in it. So when you look at it, you may start thinking of other games. And you're going to feel that when you play it. But what it did correctly about this is that it took the right things from these games. Everybody compares it to Far Cry because of the whole thing with the crafting and the, you know, picking berries and things of that nature. And it's actually fun. It's not something that feels tedious. It's not something that it feels annoying or it's like you just have to do it. It's actually very addictive. And that's why it works because I found myself doing this for hours without actually completing missions because I was so addicted to gathering supplies and upgrading my gear and I was like, wow, you know what? This is good. This is what it's supposed to be like. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I'm not feeling like I have to do it. It makes you want to grind. It makes you want to farm. That's what a game is supposed to do. So you're spending time in it. And that's what you want to see in a game that doesn't have like multiplayer. So it's like a campaign. You beat it, wham, bam, thank you, man. You enjoy your experience with this. This is a game you want to keep on the shelf. You want friends to come over. You want to pop it and show them. You want to play it again at another point. You want to run through it again. This is why I think this game is a, a must buy. I'm not even going to do a review for this game because I'm enjoying it just like everybody else and I'm taking my time with it. I'm not rushing it or anything like that. So I'm going to talk about the games that I think it reminds me of. Mass Effect and Drama is coming out. This feels like Mass Effect a little bit because it has this whole thing where when you talk to people, you make selections on what kind of reaction you have or when events occur. And I felt a lot like Mass Effect and it was the good part of Mass Effect. It was something that I was like, okay, they put that in here too. That's what's up. That's good. Graphics, I don't even need to get into too much details. If you saw me on Twitter going ham over those graphics, the graphics are the best I've seen on a console to date. I think the only thing rivaling this, or even coming close, I'm not going to say rival, and coming close is probably The Last of Us with the 4K upgrade and Infamous with the 4K upgrade. The HDR is amazing. After playing this in Resident Evil and HDR, I'm, I'm sold on the whole HDR thing. I, I already thought HDR was a good thing, but they did it so nice in this game. I mean, man, if you can get a chance to play it with HDR, do that. You're going to feel like you have not seen the game look this good in a long time. The 4K upscale or whatever they want to call it, it looks amazing. Even for PC, a lot of the 4K updates that I saw on the Pro have like a soft look. And it doesn't look quite as clear as it would on PC. But with the HDR and the way they did the 4K and this with the textures, and I believe that's what played the part in it looking so good, it worked. My only complaint is seeing this game made me really want to know what they would have did with Scalebound. I'm very disappointed we won't see Scalebound. So, I digress. It also feels like the mechanics from The Last of Us, which is another good thing because I like those mechanics. The only problem with the mechanics that I see in this game, and it's going to bother a few people, now it's not going to be a deal breaker, or it's not going to be something you're going to really lose you know, stress and pull your hair out over, but it's something that is just from time to time you'll be trying to do it and you can't. It has this look over the shoulder view from the left shoulder. And sometimes when you're behind cover, you want to look from the right shoulder so you can get a better view because your bow in your hand is in the way and you can't. And I get that that's realistic. In real life, you probably can't shoot a bow with both hands. You know, you're just going to favor your, your hand, your left hand or your right hand. So that's normal, but it's just something in the game you kind of want it there. So it's not a big, big thing, but it's just something that I feel like it would have made it a little bit more enjoyable with uh, using a bow. However, that's cool. That's cool. It's cool. It does work. So there's a lot of games that will remind you of. There's little pieces of it, but they took like bits and pieces and threw them into this game and made their own game. So I feel like it's pretty good. I like it. You know, I like the story. The story is definitely good. I was concerned about that. Now, I'll be honest, the talking gets a little bit annoying from time to time. I feel like there's a little bit too much talking and that's something I don't really dig. I don't dig having to have a 10 minute conversation when I'm trying to do things. So you know, considering the acting is not that bad, I could tolerate it. However, I don't really have any complaints with the game. You know, it's pretty good. I feel like for 60 bucks, this game is worth buying. I feel like it's that kind of game. Like I said, you'll invite people over. You'll be like, yo, you want to see an interesting game? And you'll show them this game. I don't want to spoil anything. Like I said, I'm enjoying this game like you. I'm not even going to bother to do a review. Like I said, I'm just going to go with the game, go with the flow. And uh, that's it. If you're not going to get this game, let me know why in the comment section. Because some of you guys think this game is boring or not interesting. And I'm telling you, I went into this with no expectations and was blown away by it. 
I really was like, wow, when I popped the disc in and started the game. Wow. As you can see, I got the first 30 minutes up. If you guys are skeptical, it is in 4K. I recommend you check that video out and just look at it, man. Just, just look at it and tell me you're not interested. These are the type of games I would like to see on every platform. Not a shot at Xbox. Every platform. PC, everywhere. Nintendo, everywhere. Anyway. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like I said, you already know my routine. If you have a question, ask me. I'll answer it. But in a few minutes or hours, we're all going to be playing this wonderful game. Guerrilla Games did their thing. Is this a contender for Game of the Year? It may be. It may be. It may be. It depends. There's a lot of games coming out. But as of right now, yeah, it's probably the best game that came out this year. For sure. For certain. So I do recommend that you actually get this. Don't borrow it. Don't rent it. Get it. Go get the game, man. Definitely support I'm out of here, man. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I don't want to make this video too long. Peace. And once again, before I go, if you're new to my channel, please hit the notification bell under my name. And if you haven't subscribed, of course, do that already. And I want to say thank you to the people that like the video right before I start talking and supporting. That's what's up. I really dig that. I'm out of here, man, for real. Let me know what you guys think. And like I said, if you're not getting this game, I want to hear from you too. Because I was in, this, I was in that whole thing of not knowing if this was a good game. I said I was not sure of certain things, and man, was I totally surprised when I played the game, really. And, you know, I'm a huge Last of Us fan. It's my favorite game, and this is rivaling that. The story, the engineering, the mechanics, the gameplay, the graphics, everything I liked about The Last of Us, this rivals. So let me know what you think in the comment section. It's a true open-world game. That really surprised me, but I'm out of here. Peace.